What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Color Nation Media bringing you yet another episode of Pokemon X and Y Battle Spot Live. Today's episode I believe is number 63 if I'm not just completely crazy, which I might be, uh, and you guys know all about that. Anyway, I changed up the team a little bit. I know I said that I'm going to be keeping the same team and that's usually how I do things, but um, I've just been using Flareon a lot and it just really has not been working out the way I wanted it to. Um, Basically, how it's gone is every time I've used it in a battle that I'm not recording, it's done really well. And then every time I've used it in a battle where I am recording, it just does absolutely nothing. So we're going to switch things up just a little bit. I actually took the Choice Band off of the Dodrio from last time. And that is now on the Rapidash, which was replacing uh, the Flareon. And the Dodrio is now holding Life Orb. So uh, he's going to be able to change moves, which is great because he does have the Priority Quick Attack, which is uh, hopefully going to come in handy at some point. Uh, but the downside to that is that he's going to get worn down really quickly abusing Brave Bird with the recoil from the Brave Bird itself and then the recoil from the Life Orb and just, uh, just recoil everywhere. Uh, it's too much. Anyway, before we get into today's challenge, I just want to remind you guys that our like goal for this video is 70 likes. So if we can meet that, that would be absolutely fantastic. And if we do, I'll just continue to bring you all kinds of videos. You know, you know how it goes. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, where we stand, our record is uh, 72 and 49 coming into today's episode. And uh, in case you are um, new or just did not see the last episode, the other Pokemon on our team, we've got the Choice Specs Electrode, we've got the Black Sludge, which you might call it. What kind of set is it? I can't even, I'm just having a brain fart. Sub Disable Gengar, there we go. Pretty standard Crawdon with Focus Sash, uh, D Dance. And then like a dual screens um, Bronzong, and I think I gave it leftovers again by accident, because I, I took it out of the box because I was having Wi-Fi battles, and I put it back in and gave it leftovers again because I'm just silly like that. Can't believe I did that. If I sound a little bit irritated, I'm sorry, but it, I just I am. The battle I had a few minutes ago. You guys are gonna see that battle. Um, I guess not tomorrow. Well, yeah, tomorrow. Because it's two days from now, but you're actually watching this on my tomorrow. It's just, it's all confusing. All you need to know is that the battle that you're going to be watching tomorrow uh, was a little bit infuriating for me, I guess you could say. Um, really close match, got decided by something silly, so I guess you'll just have to wait till tomorrow to see that. Uh, anyway, we're up against a pretty uh, decent looking team here. Very, um, I don't know, threat filled, I guess, I was, is, is what I want to say. You got the Sylveon, Tyranitar, Zapdos. Porygon to Gengar and Garchomp. So we are going to have our hands full with this team that we're up against here. I really want to bring the Crawdont because Crawdont can take on a lot of this team. I really don't have anything for the Garchomp and Garchomp has just been destroying my life on Battle Spot lately. It really has because the teams that I've been bringing really haven't had anything for, um, for Garchomp at all. And to be fair, I don't really have much on my team that can handle Talonflame either. So, that is the thing, um, I guess. So, what do we want to do here? I guess I want to lead off with the, uh, Crawdont. And I want to bring the Dodrio. And I think I all, well, no, 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 no. We're going to lead off with the Bronzong to try to get some screens up, maybe. That would be just... Lovely. Bring the Crawdont, and I really wanted to bring the Dodrio, but I'm looking at this team, I'm not sure why I wanted to do that. I guess because it has knockoff. Yeah, that's right. Dodrio has knockoff. Everything has knockoff. Um, not everything on my team, obviously. I only have two Pokemon on my team that has knockoff, and that's probably two Pokemon too many, to be perfectly uh, honest about it. I mean, I don't really have a problem with knockoff, but just knockoff is everywhere. And there's nothing wrong with that because it's a great move. But it gets a little bit tedious when you've got teams like five out of the six Pokemon or all six Pokemon have knockoff. I've seen those kinds of teams, and that is a bit insane. And, uh, yeah, it's just not cool. Not cool. Gengar's leading off here against Bronzong. That's a bad matchup for me because Steel is nerfed. Steel is nerfed, so I cannot um, really do a whole lot to this thing. I'm going to try to set up a light screen. Um, I don't know. He might Mega Evolve. He's going to go for the Willow. Willow Gengar. Why is that a thing on Battle Spot? I've seen that two or three times now. It screwed me over almost every single time. I just, I don't get it. I don't get why people are running Willow on Gengar. Most of the time it's Mega Gengar too. Uh, but this one is not. Or he just decided to not Mega Evolve. Uh, which is also a possibility. 
I guess what I want to do here is... Hmm... What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I want to gyro ball this thing, get rid of any focus dashes if he has any. Uh, we'll see if he just ends up mega evolving this turn, which is possible. I guess if you forgot, he is going to withdraw, so he just wanted to burn me. That's all he cares about. Probably a physical attacker coming out here. There is the Tyranitar, so he can crunch me, and that's going to not be a lot of fun. He's going to get the Sandstream up. So there's the Sandstorm. He's not going to take a whole lot from this gyro ball because I'm really not that much slower than him. Actually, that does okay damage. Okay damage, I guess. That would have done a lot if I wasn't burned. My goodness. And I'm not even invested in attack at all. So that is pretty cool, I guess. I'm going to try to set up a Reflect here. I don't know if that's going to work because he's going to crunch me. Oh, he's going to Substitute. Expecting me to go for a Reflect here. Not bad. Not a bad play at all. The one thing I have to say that I do like about Battle Spot is that the... Uh, a lot of the, the battlers on here are very skilled, and uh, they have some, some interesting things going on, I guess. I mean, Willow Gengar, I guess that's creative. Is that is that a new thing on Battlespot? I, I really haven't played Battlespot except for yesterday um, in a couple of weeks, so I don't really know what the meta looks like right now. He's going to Mega Evolve here. I'm not sure why he waited. So, for all I know, the Gengar and the Tyranitar could both be holding Mega Stones, and he was just waiting for, you know, a certain opportunity to be able to Mega Evolve, which makes sense. He's going to Dragon Dance here, and we should be able to break the sub, I think. I think, I think, I think. I'm not worried about him doing any of this, because I do have Aqua Jet with the Crawdaunt, so it's just, it's not a problem for me at all. And we will see here if it breaks the sub. We get a crit, so that's definitely going to break the sub. Our Reflect is still intact. The problem is that with this Sandstorm up, if I come in with Cronaut, my Focus Ash is going to be destroyed, and that is an issue. That is definitely an issue. And I would not put it past him to have Focus Ash on something. So that could end up being a problem. Let's go for another Gyro Ball here. We'll see what he wants to do. He wants to sub again, and hopefully this Gyro Ball will break the sub. If it doesn't, we're going to be in trouble. We are going to be in trouble. I really i am not confident. Super effective. There goes the sub, so we are in good shape here. Uh, we're going to get some lefties recovery. We're going to get some burn damage. He should be able to finish us off with really anything that he wants to. Uh, I mean, he has the crunch, most likely. Our light screen is going to wear off. He might be trying to just stall us out of um, light screen and reflect turns. He knows we don't have the light clay because I've been showing leftovers a hundred times. Not a hundred times, but you know. You know what I'm talking about. I always say that. I say, you know what I'm talking about, but most of the time, you guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about. You're probably shouting at the screen right now. I have no idea what you're talking about. Stop telling me that I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about? All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done being a fool. He's going to switch out the Tyranitar to preserve that Sandstream, I guess, is what he's going for here. We're going to go for the Gyro Ball again. That's not going to do anything to this Zapdos whatsoever. And he's just doing a whole lot of nothing. He hasn't really actually attacked me, has he? You know, he's got the, the Rocky Helmet there. Got a bunch of things going on in my mind at once. He did time that correctly, though, so that his Zapdos coming in is not going to get hurt by the Sandstorm as it subsides this turn. Um, this will allow us to get up another Light Screen, I, unless he wants to just KO me this turn, which is possible. Very possible. He's going to go for the Heat Wave, and we are not Heat Proof. We are Levitate. We actually survived that. I don't know how, but uh, we did. We get a light screen up. And uh, we're going to die to the burn damage, pretty sure. Even with the lefties, that should not be enough to keep us alive. But Bronzong just lasted forever. Granted, our opponent only attacked us once, but still, that's besides the point. Besides the point. Our reflect is going to wear off. That is unfortunate. Um, and I really have nothing. I have nothing for the Zapdos right now. Ah, uh, that's not good. That is just, that is big poop. Let's bring in the Cronaunt here. I do have the Focus Sash, although I don't know that I can KO this thing with a plus one knockoff. I don't even know if that is possible, but I guess we're going to have to try. Because I don't see any other, um, I don't see any other option here. Still got all three of his Pokemon, too. Bringing in Dodrio obviously was a silly thing to do. He may stay in and try to T-ball me. I don't know. 
Let's see. Uh, just go for the D-Dance. Let's go for the D-Dance. That's what we're doing. He's going to outspeed. Go for that T-Bolt. And we don't know what item this thing is yet. Uh, that could be offensive. I don't know. We should be faster, I think. Unless he's just, like, speed invested. But we're going to find out here. Going to go for the knockoff. If he outspeeds, it is over, pretty much. Because, uh, yeah, Dodrio's not going to be able to kill. But we do outspeed. We are not able to kill, though. And he does have the Rocky Helmet that brings us down to 1 HP. We get rid of the Rocky Helmet. And he's going to roost. Okay. I kind of wish I was carrying the Waterfall now. Because that might be able to knock this thing out. Well, no. Because knockoff goat, the boost, is more powerful than Waterfall. I actually do know what I'm talking about a little bit. In case you guys were wondering. Um... But that's great to have that Rocky Helmet out of the picture, I suppose. Because now we can just go for another knockoff. We know it that we outspeed. It should do more than Aqua Jet would. We still get the adaptability boost. I guess there's no reason for us not to go for that at this point. He's going to withdraw. Why? Why are you withdrawing? He's just he's playing games with me. Out comes the T-Tar. Oh, the Sandstorm. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough, my good friend. So, uh, he's just pro-playing me. That's what this is right now. The T-Tar is going to barely, barely survive. And I don't even know if that was 3.5 HP. From the looks of it, it looks less than that. Let's go into Dodrio. We, we just have to get a kill. We have to get one kill. Come on, now. Please. Um, I kind of want to go for Brave Bird. I just, I had, the bottom line is that I can take on anything on his team except for that uh, Zapdos. And by anything on his team, I mean I can finish off this Tyranitar. I should be able to KO the Gengar. Unless it's carrying the Sludge Bomb, and I'm not really sure what it's really doing. But I have the knockoff, so it should be okay. But the, the Zapdos, I just have nothing to kill it. Uh, I've got Quick Attack, Brave Bird, Knockoff, and Pursuit. Zapdos already lost its item. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go for the Brave Bird to try to get as much damage as I possibly can on anything. Um, we're going to get the Life Orb Recoil either way if he wants to stay in with the Tyranitar, which is what he's doing. We're not going to take much recoil from the Brave Bird at all. He is going to let his Tyranitar go down. So uh, we're not going to get swept here, but this is definitely going to be a loss for us. And that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. But uh, looking at this... Looking at the teams, um, it's just, it's kind of a mismatch. I don't know how it went on this long. I felt like I should have been slaughtered in this, but um, so a loss is a loss. It's not anything to be proud of. Just because it took longer for you to lose doesn't mean that you're any better. Um, so let's just go for a, I don't know, let's go for a Brave Bird, I guess. That's my, my best bet here. Because Knockoff is not going to get the boost. Due to him already losing his Rocky Helmets. And that really doesn't do that much damage at all. T-Bolt is coming. That's going to be the end of Dodrio. And uh, that's going to be the end of this match. So defensive Zapdos. Though, physically defensive Zapdos is actually just fantastic. He gets the crit on the T-Bolt. And uh, not that that mattered or anything. But the Dodrio goes down. That brings our record to 79. And... Uh, I'm sorry, not 79. 72 and 50, right? No. No, that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever because we were at a 20 game, 24 game differential. We were at a 24 game differential. We had 49 losses. We had to have 73 wins. So we are at 73 and 50 now. Now we have a 23 game differential. Now it's all making sense because, um,. Apparently, I can't math sometimes. A lot of times. Most of the time. Pretty much every day. Let's challenge again. Hopefully, we can get a victory this time. That would be nice. I kind of need, like, something to lift my spirits a little bit. Because I just really haven't been doing so well lately. My plays have been really bad. And I just haven't gotten back into the swing of things. Not that that's an excuse for playing badly. But it's just, like, uh, it gives you, like, a... I don't know. Like, a bad feeling, I guess. I guess you could say that. Uh, so we're up against Gucci, and Gucci, I like his team. Except for that darn Togekiss. Uh, he's got the Milotic, Medicham, Amphoraz, which could be Mega, Slowbro, and Metagross. So some, some Pokemon that you don't see all the time here. That's pretty cool. I like to see that kind of stuff. 
And it uh, looks like he does not have any immunities to electricity, so Electrode might be a good idea here. And in fact, I'm going to start off with him. He does have three Pokemon that are going to be weak to Ghost, and he also has a Pokemon that's going to be weak to Poison as well, so Gengar takes on a good portion of his team. I want to bring that. That's going to be two special attackers, so I probably should bring something that's not a special attacker. That might help my cause a little bit. Uh, looks like he's got, let's see here, two Pokemon that'll be weak to, uh, not weak to, two Pokemon that are going to resist uh, Rapid Dash's stab. But Metagross would easily get taken out by a choice banded Flare Blitz, as would Metacham and probably, well, Ampharaz might resist it too if it's Mega. That is, that is possible. That is very, 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 very possible. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Let's just bring the Rapidash because we haven't gotten to see it in action yet. If it kills itself or it dies or whatever happens, um, I'm not going to be that upset about it. Really not going to be that upset about it. I just need, I don't know, I need a victory. I need a victory here. Not here, but just in general, somewhere. Somewhere along the line. But I'm going to record the next episode right after this one, so, you know, I've got time. I've got two more battles after this. I don't, there's no pressure to win one here. There's the Electrode. We'll see what he wants to start off with. It's going to be the Milotic, so that is, in fact, a fantastic matchup for us. And, um, let's see. I don't think I can kill it in one hit, regardless of what I go for. So, my best bet would probably be a T-Bolt, I guess. No, let's Volt Switch in case he wants to switch out. That's what we're going to do. He is going to withdraw, so I know he doesn't have any immunity, so I'm in good shape here. Uh, we'll see what he wants to go into. He's going to go into the Ampharaz, and that is absolutely fine by me. It's not going to do that much damage to it at all. Nope. Barely a scratch, if you can even call it that. But now, I'm guessing my best bet is going to be to go into Rapidash. Because I can either Mega Horn or Low Kick or something to that effect. Even Flare Blitz, I mean, I know it's going to be a resisted hit. But Flare Blitz just does so much damage. So much damage. Let's bring out the Rapidash here. It's obviously going to be a Mega Amphraz. There's no reason for him to bring Amphraz uh, otherwise. I mean, that's something I would do, but I don't really think that my opponent's going to want to do that. So, well... See, I, I kind of want to go for the Mega Horn because I believe that's more damage, even though it's not Stab, because uh, once he Mega Evolves, Flare Bliss is going to be a resisted hit. And the problem that I have with Mega Horn is that its accuracy is shaky. It should do a decent amount of damage, but Flare Blitz is always just... It's, it's just better. Just better! Better! I don't know why I said that. Let's go for the Mega Horn. He is going to Mega Evolve, so the Flare Blitz would have been a bad idea, I guess. I guess you could say that. Um, we should go first, though, because Mega Ampharos is slow as balls. Very, very, very slow balls. There's the Mega Horn. We actually connect. Oh, my goodness. And Mega Horn does a decent amount of damage. The Cotton Guard is real. That is unfortunate. Because we're going to have to come in with... Uh, well, no, it's not unfortunate. Because my other two Pokemon are special attackers, so that just means that Megahorn will not uh, KO this turn, and I'm fine with that. Uh, it actually connects two times in a row, and I, I am surprised. That does absolutely nothing to this Ampharaz, and Thunderbolt uh, somehow doesn't kill. Um, we survive with 5 HP, so we're going to get another Megahorn off. Connected three times in a row, I don't know if I've ever done that, and Rapidash actually takes out... A Mega Ampharos. I just don't even know what to say. I am in awe right now. So Rapidash, I guess, was a good addition because I do not think Flareon would have been able to take out that Ampharos. Just saying. See what he wants to go into here. He's got the Milotic. I don't know what else he has on his team. We're going to find out, hopefully. Unless that uh, Milotic comes in right now and sweeps my entire team. And if that's the case, I'm going to be very upset with myself. In comes the Slowbro. Because it has the Regenerator. And uh, the chances of me hitting a fourth Mega Horn in a row are pretty slim. Pretty freaking slim, if I do say so myself. But I do anyway. And it, oh, it almost just kills this thing due to a crit. We're going to die to the Rocky Helmet. That puts him in a really bad position. 
Uh, and that's unfortunate for him because it was, in fact, a crit. He does go for the slack off, though. That was a good play. He probably would be at just about full health if it was not for that crit. Um, so that's that. He's got two water Pokemon, though, but that just uh, means that I can come in here with Electrode and start T-bolting everything. And then we have Gengar to uh, fall back on uh, if we need him. So, Electrode, time to put in some work. He's going to withdraw to get the Regenerator off. I don't know if Milotic can survive two Choice Specs T-Bolts. Uh, even if it's fully specially defensive, that would be the only way that I can think of um, that it can sur possibly survive this. Nope, that is not a crit. He shows the lefties, but I don't think it's going to matter. I think this match is over. So, it looks like a tandem of Electrode and... Rapidash is going to defeat this team, and that's just absolutely insane to me. Absolutely insane. Uh, we got a little bit of help from that crit, but with the Regenerator and the Slack Off, it actually doesn't really matter. He's going to be back up to full health anyway. We get a crit on that T-Bolt, which defeats the Milotic, but the crit didn't matter, obviously. Obviously it didn't matter. There's the Slowbro. He's actually not at full health, but he's very close. Looks to be about 90 to 95% of his health. Um, I'm pretty sure this is going to kill. Anyway, he's just going to forfeit. He does not want to watch his Slowbro go down to an Electro because I guess that's a little bit embarrassing. I don't know. I wouldn't be embarrassed. I would not be embarrassed at all. Electro, I mean, I don't know. Those are the best damn balls I've ever seen, if I do say so myself. Um, I, you know, when I say things like that, I, th I immediately think, why on earth does anybody watch this crap? Why? <laughs> Why do you tune in every day to watch me say things like that? I don't know. I don't know. But that's why I love you guys, because you put up with this kind of stuff. Uh, no, I do not want to continue battling because this episode is over. We have one win and one loss today. Our record is 74 and 50. We're maintaining that 24-game differential, even though I'm playing, like, absolute piss. So... Uh, hopefully we can build on our record next time. I know I say that in every episode, but I really am really hoping we can build on it next time. Anyway, that's going to be it for this time, guys. So thank you very much for watching, as always. And do not forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. It does help out a lot, and I do appreciate it. So I'll see you all for the next episode. But until then, game on.